Hey guys, welcome back, happy Tuesday. And today I wanted to give you a full update on the first Lightning Pied Clutch. I don't actually think I did after I got all of the shed test results back. At least I don't believe so. I can't honestly remember what I recorded last week at this point. Um, and then show you some of the new clutch as well. So kind of give you an overall view of what's going on with this project here. So uh, depends on if you were watching my um, Instagram account or not would kind of give you a heads up with all of this. So I was lucky enough to hit all three of the females from this first clutch that were lightning pies ended up testing out positive for clown. So I have three lightning pied hit clown females here, which uh, as you can see, they're in camouflage. There we go. Here's another one. So this is huge for this project. This um, pretty much makes it uh, close to a guarantee to be able to make a lightning clown pied as soon as these girls are grown up. Obviously, I'm still trying to hit the male to make it even easier. Um, luckily, the last male I have is from a different clutch, so I am keeping my fingers crossed that I, I sent his shed test out today that he ends up testing positive for clown because, um, you know, him being able to breed within a year and move him around to other projects. Let's say I want to breed him a DG Pied. You know, I'm making Pieds that are doubleheaded DG, MJ, and can be tested for Clown. That makes a huge difference with uh, with this project. So um, I got very lucky with these females. So those girls are not going anywhere. They're way too valuable. This guy here is deep in shed. And looks actually, he finally ate this mouse I had in there with him. Uh, he's actually for sale. So he's uh, in shed, unfortunately, but he's for sale. He's one of two males that I have available right now. Um, just had his fourth or fifth meal. Um, you know, he's beautiful. Um, obviously, the pictures of him will be a little better because he's not all grayed out because he's in shed. But uh, So he's a, one of two available. He's the more plain one. This guy just had a meal, too. They all, I was just going through feeding all of them today. Uh, this is the OD Lightning Pied possible blade i think it is um but i didn't want to you know promise that he is basically i think you're getting it if for the price of just an od lightning pied but he's available as well i didn't i didn't really see a whole lot of reason to keep him um you know he's technically an upgrade over the dad but because he tested negative for clown i considered him a downgrade um and i have those three females so i kind of needed to make some money off of this clutch um, but he's beautiful. I, I really, I was really hoping he was going to test positive for clown because I re really wanted to hold him back, but I can't, can't keep everything. Um, so he's a beautiful male that is available, very high end, um, you know, getting a double, double visual recessive with one or two codoms is, is a pretty powerful thing that, especially because there's not very many of them going around. Now these two girls... Um, these are my other two holdbacks from this clutch. These two also tested positive for clown. Um, they're both OD, double het, clown, MJ. Um, she's OD, possibly OD blade. Uh, same thing going on here. Um, both very beautiful snakes. So five snakes in this clutch hit, het clown. And they were all five females. So again... This project <laughs> just kind of takes a leap in a really big direction now that I have all these females. And depending on once the MJ tests come out, uh, it might change. I might not hold these back if I have some other females because I have a bunch of clown females that, you know, I'm raising up from last year. I have four of them that are clown head pied pos at MJ. I have two other clowns from this year that are clown head pied pos at MJ. So, you know, whether or not I keep these will really determine on what, what I get from my other clutches that are head clown once we get the test. And these two are still available. Uh, they are my uh, other pied head MJs. One's a male, one's a female. Oh, let me just do this. They just had their fourth meals as well. That guy is deep in shed. So they're available. They're actually pretty inexpensive. I think the male's seven fifty and the female's a thousand. Even if you bought them as a pair, um, you know it's a pretty good deal to be able to make lighting pies for you know seventeen fifty. 
um, or even pairing this female with one of the visual males is a pretty big get, in my opinion. So there's that. Uh, this male, so this is the newest clutch. Uh, this male just shed and actually took his first meal already. He's my last hope to hit a lightning pipe at clown male. So everybody keep your fingers crossed that he proves out. Um, immensely changes these projects for me if he ends up proven out. A triple recessive snake um, makes it easier to introduce uh, other recessives into the project by breeding him. You know, I take him to an, um, I was gonna say ultra mild pied, but I wouldn't do that. A hypo pied, let's say, right? So, uh, or a clown hypo. Um, just brings in so many different things. So, um, you know, definitely looking for him to be hit clown. Uh, this female is the other lightning pie in the clutch. She's the one that has no eyes. Uh, she looks, she hasn't shed yet either. She looks completely healthy. Otherwise, she acts completely normal. Tongue works like normal. Um, you know, the, there's nothing, no issues there with her jaw. Everything looks completely fine. So I'm going to be keeping her. Um, I am going to test her for clown as well. But she looks uh, just like a beautiful tiny little snake with no eyeballs. So hopefully it was just an incubation issue, which is what I'm assuming what happened. Um, but she is staying here. The one that had the messed up mouth did actually end up passing away. So unfortunately we lost that one. Um, but hopefully, you know, uh, this other one uh, ends up being okay. Um, this snake is probably the prettiest non-visual uh, MJ and she's only, uh, she did not shed. She's the only one who didn't shed yet. So we have another female here. I believe she's an OD blade. Pied head MJ Posse at Clown. Very high pattern. Looks really pretty. So I'm excited to see what she looks like when she sheds. This is the other female here. She did shed. Um, I sent her shed away today with the male. Um, so we'll see, you know, this week, pretty early, I would assume. Uh, what she proves out to be as well. So she may or may not be available depending on whether or not she's head clown. Um, you know, if both of these girls are head clown, I don't know if I'm gonna keep four pied double head clown MJs. I'm not sure yet. I, maybe, maybe not. I mean, I, that means I go and I leave this season with seven females, which, you know, is pretty awesome, but I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Still on the fence. And this guy just shed as well. So I don't know actually what I'm gonna do with him. I'm obviously gonna shed test him. Um, I believe he's an OD blade as well. Uh, pied head MJ Posset clown. So he's gonna get shed tested. Uh, I don't know, you know, I'm sort of on the fence about what to do with this project with releasing snakes that uh, give people uh, sort of an edge. I mean, basically he's the same thing as what the dad is to me. So he's not an upgrade at all. Um, he can't be an upgrade because the dad already has all those genes. But, you know, selling a male like that, um, that has the heck clown in it, it gives somebody else the ability to start making those pretty quick. Now, obviously, if they don't have MJ Xanthic stuff, it's still going to be a longer path for them because they still have to somehow work that in there. But, uh, you know, it still does give them a triple recessive snake. So, if he does end up going up for sale, he's not going to be cheap. Um, you know, like the Pied Head MJ male that's available is seven fifty, dollars um, which is what the basic going rate for that, that snake with those two genes is. An OD Blade Pied Head MJ Head Clown is going to be significantly more expensive um, because it's triple recessive and has a couple codoms in it. So I don't know what to do with it. it. It doesn't make sense. I don't need it for anything. The dad's perfectly fine. He is breeding anything and everything. So it really doesn't make sense for me to keep it. I just got to kind of weigh that out in my head in terms of, um, do I want to make those sorts of things available, more available on the market while I'm still trying to build a project myself. If I was a year or two further into this project, and I had, um, you know, all the, all these females that I just showed you were already breeding, uh, and I was already making lightning clown pies, I'd probably have a different opinion of it. But because I've been trying to kind of, you know, get this thing going, um, and I'm still working on making a male double visual head, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I'm, kind of, I'm really on the fence about how to, how to release some of these things. It's the same thing with the females. 
you know, I have four females from last year that are almost a breeding size, but I can't test them for MJ yet. So it's not like I don't have some older females in the project. Plus I have the original female. Uh, she hasn't gone back on food very well, so she's not ready to breed again yet, but she is also a triple recessive snake. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very exciting project. Um, it, I mean, it's cool. It, it's a big project. Um, especially if, you know, Garrick Meyer, uh, he created the, the GCR Exanthic, uh, Clown Pied. And I don't know if you made a regular or just had pastel. I haven't checked up on that in a while. Um, and we're still waiting to see if MJ and GCR are the same gene or just compatible. So, you know, uh, I know RGI is working on it and Grey Rider is working on it. I sent all these shed tests, all these 15 shed tests were sent to Grey Rider. He tested them for clown for me, but he was keeping them also test to figure out a test for MJ. So hopefully somebody finds it soon because I need to test stuff. Uh, I have at least four snakes I need to test, if not more. And... Um, It'll also tell us whether or not GCR or an MJ are the same. If they're not the same gene, then I'm still basically trying to, you know, race to the top to try to make the first lightning clown pied. Um, so, you know, I have these females from last year and hopefully one of them, uh, or two of them, uh, really two or three of them, two of them should be proved out. They have like a 50% chance of being that clown. So, um, it's exciting. I, I can't wait for it to start progressing a little more. That dad actually has a clutch in the incubator where he was bred to a clown pied. Uh, and I think it's due to hatch like the first week of September. So I'm looking for OD blade clown pieds in that. And again, there'll be Poss head MJ, which kind of sucks. But if sooner than later we're able, if, if I get an OD blade clown pied out of that and it's a male, that might even be better than me keeping this uh, lightning pied pet clown male. Or I'd probably, to be honest, I'd probably keep them both. But I would probably take the clown pied head MJ male once it gets up to size and probably breed it to the lightning pied pet clown females um, to try to tackle it from a different angle. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. I don't, we'll have to cross that road when we get there because I still don't even know if this guy's a head clown. If he's not a head clown, that third male, he'll be for sale too, because I have no reason to keep him. I have a lightning pied male. I have a pied double head MJ clown male. They're both adults. There's no reason for me to keep another baby. So as of right now, look at it this way. There's, there's two lightning pieds available right now. There's only a possibility of a third being released. I'm not releasing any more. So if you want one of these, I would act on it soon because I will probably not have any of these for the rest of the year. There's two females, the adults, they're actually eating very well and they're back on food and they're, but they're still not going to produce another clutch until next spring at the earliest, uh, or maybe, maybe late, late winter, you know, 2025, like, you know, February. So, I mean, we're still a half a year out from me making any more. Um, so if you want one, uh, there's two, possibly three left. So um, it's it's a very high-end project. Uh, check out HJS Serpents. They actually stopped by last week and they purchased a male in one of my holdback females. I was I kept her, because I didn't test her for clown and I didn't, she proved negative. So they picked up like a 500 gram female from me um, plus a new male. So they're gonna be doing big things with that. So. It's a huge project, and when you get a double visual recessive male that's powerful like a lightning pied male, um, and you can breed him into other projects, breed him to a clown pied, breed him to a DG, get those extra recessives in there. Um, you're good. I haven't bred it in the DG myself. That's probably something I'm gonna be doing next year. I mean, you could potentially beat me to making a lightning DG lightning pied. Um, so, it's 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 there's a lot of stuff to do with it and the thing that i'm always telling people is you don't want to veer off too far off you know working on genes people aren't working on because a lot of those genes just aren't popular or they're not good genes but something like this where they're have a high demand and they're holding retaining a high price 
you can still experiment with those genes and still make a lot of money off of it. So instead of working on that codon that's been around for 20 years, that is you know a fifty dollar snake, you buy a nice snake that's that's not you know monsoon for example, you know they're still paying ten thousand dollars for a monsoon. If you bought that monsoon, would you make your money back? Yeah, because there's still not a lot of them going around. But at some point, that price is going to drop drastically because the supply is going to go up. Um, whereas the entry level on this is a little more friendly to people. Uh, you know, $2,500 for a male lightning pied, and within a year you're breeding it to females and making more of them uh, and making decent money back when you do go to sell those is pretty, uh, pretty enticing. So two males right now, possibly a third, but I'm hoping not for my sake. Uh, so if you're interested in this project, now's the time to get into it. I only have one female available right now too, uh, Pied Head MJ. So take a look and we'll see you guys tomorrow.